The development of autonomous cars is going rapidly, but commercially available cars cannot yet drive fully independent. Instead, they can take over a subset of the driving tasks on specific road types. For example, some cars can keep a fixed distance to other cars on the highway, or they can stay in the middle of a well-marked lane. As technology develops, cars can take over more and more driving tasks, and at some point they might be able to drive relatively independent for longer stretches without human help. Nonetheless, at times there might still be need for human action. For example, the car might not know how to maneuver on a foggy road, or what to do when there are roadworks. In such cases, the car might need to hand over control to the human driver. An open question is how soon a human driver needs to be alerted that such a handover is coming up. Research has shown that warning 7 seconds before the handover results in better performance compared to later warnings. We propose that earlier warnings might be even better when considering that human drivers are sometimes distracted. For example, humans might make a phone call or read the news while the car is driving. An early warning can help such distracted drivers in three ways. First, an early warning gives time to finish the distracting task at a natural breakpoint, such as at the end of a sentence that you're reading. As I explained in the previous video, finishing a task at a natural breakpoint has many benefits. This includes a reduction in stress. Second, even when a distracted driver stops working on another task, this task can continue to distract them for a while. Giving an early warning allows this distraction to fade before the driver needs to drive again. Third, if a driver is given more time to prepare for the handover, they can orient themselves to the traffic situation. They can, for example, look in the mirror to see if it is safe to brake. We explore the effectiveness of early warnings that come 20 seconds before the handover. We refer to these early warnings as pre-alerts, as they come well before the final alert of the handover. Here you see our Envision setup. The car is driving autonomously, but before a handover is needed, the pre-alert starts. You'll notice how this pre-alert is a little like a rear parking alert. The closer you get to the handover, the more frequent the alert beeps. We also tested another pre-alert that gives bursts of tones like this. Automation disabled. This pre-alert is more like a seatbelt alert that only plays tones occasionally. How effective are such pre-alerts then? We tested this in a driving simulator that simulated autonomous driving, but that occasionally required the human driver to take over control of the vehicle, for example when there was fog on the road. The human driver also did other tasks while the car drove autonomously. They added items to their calendars, for example. We found that drivers that were warned by a pre-alert stopped working on other tasks earlier compared to drivers that did not have a pre-alert. These drivers looked earlier at the road and as the alert progressed, the number of drivers that looked at the road accumulated such that all drivers that had a pre-alert looked at the road before they had to take over driving. In contrast, the drivers that did not have a pre-alert looked at the road much later and some looked at it too late. After the handover, drivers that were warned by a pre-alert also reduced their car's speed earlier, in anticipation of upcoming critical incidents. There were many more benefits of pre-alerts, which are described in the paper. Pre-alerts that suggested a sense of urgency seem particularly promising. In general, we can conclude that pre-alerts can benefit the handover process in the next generation of semi-autonomous vehicles. If you want to know more details, you can read the paper, or you can watch Remo van der Heide's conference presentation of this work by clicking on the link.